Sarah, thanks. In case you didn't know this, it's severe weather preparedness week, and one of the biggest threats we face every year here in the Carolinas is flooding. It is the second deadliest weather threat in the United States. Meteorologist Aisha Scott joining us now from the Sugar Creek Greenway, and Aisha, that typically right there is a place that floods often. Oh yeah, that's right, Bill. You know, I'm right beside one of several greenways across Charlotte that will flood whenever we get that heavy, consistent rain. And it could cause some big issues, especially on the roads. Now, I want to talk today about flooding, what you should know about flooding, some flooding facts, and also how to keep your family safe. Flooding is one of the deadliest weather events in the country. The only thing deadlier is heat. That means more people die from floods each year than tornadoes, lightning, or hurricanes. Over the past 10 years, an average of 99 people have died in floods each year. Many deaths are a result of people driving through flooded roads. Remember, it only takes 18 inches of flowing water to carry away most vehicles, including SUVs, and six inches of moving water can sweep you off your feet. It is impossible to tell how deep the water is that is covering a roadway or the condition of the road underneath the water. That is especially true at night. So anytime you come to a flooded road, walkway, or path, follow this simple rule. Turn around, don't drown. Also remember these tips. Know your flood risk. You can find out if you live in a flood plain by visiting msc.fema.gov. Do not park or camp your vehicle along streams, rivers, or creeks, and stay away from areas that are subject to flooding, like underpasses or poor drainage areas. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Aisha Scott for WCNC Charlotte. And you know, today is just the first day of severe weather preparedness week. So today we talked about flooding. Tomorrow we'll talk more about lightning and what you need to do to keep your family safe in that instance as well. Now, Brad, we don't have any rain yeah. to worry about, oh. uh, at least for the next five days. So